Yo, hello everyone. Today we're gonna be playing some random decks. I'm gonna go straight into it because there is only 46 minutes remaining till the end of the day and I have no video recorded. So we're getting really close to not getting a video today out. The streak is about to end. So without further ado, I will just randomize the deck using the duels deck slots because there is that is the only way to randomize a deck. And we are playing this lightning uh, rocket tornado skeleton dragons deck which doesn't look promising but i guess we will try to make it work and i don't know i will see if i will change decks each game or if i will just uh, keep using the same one for a few games and then change it up or like change it up every time we we'll win or we lose i don't know i i guess we will see how we feel about it um, we have Bartat in our deck, which is great. It will be probably the only reason why we win this game. It's basically our win condition, defense and support card all in one, which is kind of crazy. Like, I don't think there is any other card that is so good in all the aspects of the game at once. Like, it's actually crazy. Our opponent has Firecracker, um, which I'm not really happy about. Um, let me skeleton dragons, hopefully the firecracker dies, nice, let's support with world breakers and let's pressure. If you hear me talk a little lower, it's because other people in my house are sleeping and I don't really want to wake everyone up because I'm recording a video so I will just keep it on the low for this video, more chill, I will not scream, uh, even though it's it, it will be hard. Our opponent is playing the firecracker at the end of the day, but we will keep it on the low, you know what I mean. Uh, I will probably lightning it here. I, I hope he plays knight. He doesn't, unfortunately. But he was not expecting the lightning and he committed five more elixir there, but um, I think we have to nado that. Great stuff. So yeah, he didn't really punish us for that really bad lightning there. I, I was hoping he would play the knight there and we would have hit both the firecracker and the knight, but he didn't do anything, so it was a really bad lightning in that case. I don't know if that mortar is actually on the tower or not. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Another really bad lightning which worked out for the best because he just played a really bad skeleton barrel. Like, I see a pattern here. Uh, our deck is really bad, by the way. I, I don't have to tell you that, but it's really bad. Let me go for something like that. Oh, wait, he had more tire evolution. I didn't know. Uh, oh, freak. That's bad. Uh, let me try to do something like that to make the mortar not connect on the tower. Luckily, we have King Tower on, and it will really help us a lot. Nice. Uh, let me go for a low fisherman. He may fireball it. Not sure if he wants to do it. Okay, he doesn't. But two firecrackers are not something I'm happy about. Um, uh, both shot the tower. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> okay, I have to spell cycle. There is no other thing we can do here. Um, he still needs to cycle two more mortars, I think, to get to the next evolution, which is great. But he also can start fireball cycling. We just keep spell cycling, no other way around it. Let me go for a high bar pod. Don't want to take skeleton barrel damage without any reason. Let me pressure here. Maybe we can kill those. Decent tornado. Okay, Mortar doesn't get a shot, that's great. Let me go for that. Oh, that's bad. That's that's on the tower or not? I can't really tell. Ah, no, it's on the tower. I think we lost because of that. So unfortunate. That was really, really, really unlucky. We also get BM'd. Uh, let's change decks since we lost. Uh, I really don't want to play another game with this deck. It was complete garbage. 
like there is no point in playing it we would just lose another game so let's go for this mega knight deck which makes a lot more sense to be honest and let's see how it goes we are against ariel manza um, the deck is not great by any like uh, it's not great in any way but i think it's better than the deck before also we will have to see what kind of deck we are playing against this could like change everything but I think it, it would be really hard to get a worse deck than the one we had before. Like, Barthat was the only good thing about the deck. Other than Barthat, we had only spells, which is really, really, really bad. Um, not really great delivery on my part. I think we will find it hard to defend here because of that. Yeah, that was really bad. Like, couldn't have gotten any worse. We are losing the tower. Those bars were a huge mistake, man. I'm dumb. Yeah, because of that stupid mistake with the barbs. We are losing the game. There is no way we can get a comeback. Like, that Mega Knight also was not great. I shouldn't have played a Mega Knight there into the bowler because, like... Everyone knows Lumberloon Freeze at this point. Everyone knew that this guy had Inferno Dragon and they had no way to reset it in any way, so the Mega Knight would just die. Uh, so, really bad interactions overall, and I didn't play it in the best way possible. Um, if he plays something else on the right side, I think we can maybe try pressuring into the lane. It could be an option. He doesn't have really good answers for it. Yeah, Bowler is not a great answer. Unfortunately, the other tower actually targets the Mega Knight, so the Bowler will take care of it pretty nicely. Okay, he has Nate as well. That's terrible. Like, we still got decent damage on the tower, but it's nowhere near enough to get a win, so... I'm not feeling this one, man. Ah, shame. But that was a really... No. Depression, man. Truly depression. Uh, can we get a win somehow? No. That fucking... Inferno Dragon is our demise. Ah, uh, it, it didn't even retarget. That's unfortunate. Yeah, uh, if we played it a little bit different, maybe, somehow, we could have won that, but it was just really bad right from the start. We took a tower, the, the, opponent, basically gave, the opponent basically gave it to us for free, but if we only didn't make so many mistakes in the beginning, this would have been doable, maybe. Only maybe though, <laughs> because it still wasn't a great matchup. We only had Dark Goblin for the Balloon, which is definitely not enough of an air defense for a lumber, but Lumberloon push without even a building, a bigger spell. We had Poison, okay, but Poison is not that great of a spell against Lumberloon. Uh, it's not bad against Loon in itself, because uh, we didn't change deck, by the way. Uh, I mean, I guess I can give it another try. It was not the worst deck. As I was saying, um, Poison is not the worst against Loon, specifically when paired like with, um, with, with, with Lava Hound. Like when you play against Loon and Lava, Poison is actually pretty decent, but against Lumberloon, it, Lumberloon is just way too quick. You have no time to actually... Uh, that's so aggressive. I don't even know if I want... Yeah, Phoenix goes back. Uh, he's really low on Elixir. Let me just go for a really late delivery. Oh, man. That's so unfortunate. I mean, the healer actually puts in nice work. Healing up the goblins. Um, overall, it ended up being a pretty fair trade for us, but I really wanted to get more out of this because he played like shit and we didn't even punish him in any way. So, not a fan of that. Um, I don't know if there is a point in... Yeah, I, I, I remembered he had some kind of splash card. Didn't re remember quite well what it was, but I kind of had something in mind. And yeah, it was an X if I pushed with... Um, 
with Hiller there, it wouldn't have made any sense. So good thing I was just, I just stopped there. Unfortunately, the XE gets a lot of value, but maybe... Really, he has enough elixir for that? That's actually crazy. He's spending so much elixir and he probably will play Goblin Gang, yeah. Fuck's sake, how many... Like, so much elixir. I don't know how. It's actually mad. I think I can go... Um. Oh, that's so bad. Like, I don't understand. I, I just couldn't keep track of his elixir there. And he was playing Hog with all the other things, like with Goblin Barrel, DXE. Like, he must have been so low. And even after spending all of that elixir, he was able to defend without any issues whatsoever. Like, even right now, he's being so aggressive. Like, watch! He's being so aggressive. And I can't even do anything. Like, it was probably not the best of the matchups, but I'm still mad because, I mean, he had Cannon and Knight, which were the perfect counters to our Mega Knight, and that Goblin Gang, which was just such a good counter against our Drill, so we are not looking great, guys. We lost three games. I want to play one more. Hopefully, it will not, like, be the one game that um, will be too much to, uh, to upload the video. I have only one half an hour left to upload the video, so hopefully I manage to finish this game in time. Will not play anymore after this one. Hopefully I just get a win. That's the only thing I want. And just upload the video as soon as possible. That That's the only thing I want right now. Um, he's not playing anything which could be great. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't really be a um, satisfying win. I wouldn't feel good in any way whatsoever by winning a game against an AFK player, but that's not the case, as you can see. He's playing Pekka with Valk, so I'm expecting Xe or... I mean, that's also an option. Um, but yeah, I'm expecting Xe or Witch, like... What? Why would you zap? He must be solo on Elixir, like after playing Pekka and Hog Rider and Valk, like a double lane push like that, he can't defend, there is no way. I mean, what I mean by he can't defend, he can't like... Um, defend perfectly without taking any damage on his tower. I thought he would be able to still keep the tower alive, but doesn't look like it. He just didn't have decent counters for it, it seems. Let me go for Mega Minion. I wanted to go for Cage for a second there, but I'd rather keep the Cage for the Hog Rider at this point. And I'm not even gonna play anything else. Like, he has guards, but guards aren't gonna stop the Prince. And he doesn't have enough for the P.E.K.K.A, so... Uh, I guess he just lost at this point? Didn't he? Yeah, Ghost on the Tower. Unfortunately, really interesting Fireball, to say the least. Let me wait for the Lava for a few seconds, and let's go for that right now. Now let's go for a Fireball. Great stuff, and if he doesn't give up, he's just kind of dumb and he's waiting his time and my time, but he gave up, so that's great. I'm happy we won at least one game because I would have felt so bad after losing all games. I, ga I guess our decks were not that great. The Mega Knight deck was not that bad though, so I'm surprised we lost both of them. I guess I just didn't play the best way. It's also kind of late, so I'm not really making the best plays I can, uh, but I still gave it my best shot. We are getting kind of more far away from Ultimate Champion, so I need to play actually more serious decks to uh, get a little bit closer to it and maybe reach it finally. There is only seven days left. For now, I will just leave it like that. 
I will see you tomorrow, guys. I'm gonna rush to upload the video as soon as possible. And yeah, take care, guys. I will see you tomorrow.